Hey everyone, I'm Ryan Douglas, the teaching pastor here at the 456, and we are so glad that you decided to join us for this week's community gathering video. Uh, we are on week three of our Holy Spirit series, and this past week we talked about the Holy Spirit's kind of role in our life as believers, primarily the fact that the Holy Spirit is here to show us and to guide us into all truth, but also that the Holy Spirit seals us in Christ, that you and I are sealed in God because of who the Holy Spirit is. You'll remember that what we had for our theology this past week was this. The Holy Spirit testifies that we belong to God and seals us in Christ. This is a really important thing. Uh, the, the Bible tells us in Romans chapter 8, verse 16, we looked at these verses a little bit on Sunday, but that the Spirit of God testifies to my spirit that I am a child of God. And we also know from Romans chapter 8 that if we are, if we, uh, Romans 8 and 9, that if we belong to Christ, we have the Spirit of God. And we looked at Ephesians 1 13 as well that talks about those who have put faith in Christ have been sealed by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, Spirit then is our guarantee of eternal life. The Holy Spirit then is that which uh, confirms us and seals us and testifies that we belong to God. And so, you know, like there, there are going to be days in our lives. There, there will be days where maybe we just feel off or, or uh, we feel emotionally under duress, or maybe we don't feel like uh, a, a, as deep of a connection to, to Christ as we had yesterday or Sunday when we were worshiping all together or whatever. But it isn't those emotional type things that testify that we belong to God. It's the spirit of God within us that testifies that we belong to God. There isn't anything, nothing that could happen in this world that would change my mind about who Christ is. And that's not something that I've just kind of like screwed my face up and just screwed my courage up and said, this is who I'm going to be. I'm just going to be somebody who believes no matter what. This is something that has been written on my heart by the Holy Spirit. I am convinced that Jesus is God. I'm convinced that he is the Lord. I've put my faith in him and whatever happens tomorrow and however my world falls apart tomorrow and whatever successes I have or failures I have, I am convinced and know this, that I belong to Christ because I've been sealed with the Holy Spirit. It's interesting, you know, right? Uh, in the book of first John, John says in John five, he says, I've written these things to you be that believe that you may know you have eternal life. There is a certainty that we who have put faith in Jesus have and can have because of the spirit that's alive inside of us. He is our seal. He is our guarantee. He is the mark on our foreheads, if you will. That's a reference uh, to the Old Testament uh, in, in the book of Ezekiel, where God was about to pour out his wrath on, on this rebellious city of Jerusalem. And uh, the very first thing that God does is he says to his servant, he says, go and put a, a mark on the forehead of everybody who weeps and, and, and is grief stricken over their sin. And then when he sent his judgments into the land, he says, don't touch anybody who has my mark on them. We think a lot uh, about marks on foreheads or wrists about being the sign of the devil. But even Revelation talks about those who belong to, to Christ being marked by God. And the Holy Spirit is that mark. The Holy Spirit is the thing that testifies before us and before God in heaven that we belong to him. We have the spirit Therefore, we belong to Christ. And so it, it isn't what we say. I mean, it is what we say about Christ. That's a key component to our faith. But, but the mark on us, the indication that we belong to God is the spirit that we have within us. Uh, our application this past week was this. We can trust uh, we can trust the Spirit to secure us in God. You do not need to worry about loss of salvation. You do not need to worry about whether or not God will cast you away from his presence. In John chapter 10, Jesus said that those who have put faith in him are secure in his hand, and he is in the Father's hand, and no one can snatch you out of that. But when, when we are sealed, when we are marked by the Holy Spirit, it is an indelible mark that God has placed on us, placed in us, to secure us in him. There is no coming out of that. Now, the, the question that you might naturally have then is, well, what about people who said they believed in Jesus who then walked away? And, and, um, I know people like that and I have friends who have been those people and those are, that's, those are heartbreaking situations. What we need to know and understand is that there are people who of their own strength and of their own volition at some point because of their background, because of their parents, because of their friend circle or whatever, there are people all the time who say, oh yeah, Jesus, that sounds like a good idea. And for them, it's a political system for a little bit. It's a band-aid for a little bit. It's kind of just a, um, I don't know, a conscience, if you will, for a little bit, but it isn't it isn't righteousness. It isn't holiness. It isn't faith in God. It, 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 and those things, remember we talked a couple of weeks ago about anything that we know that's actually true about God has been given to us by the Spirit. So when somebody comes to the place where they say, Jesus is God, Jesus is Lord, this is way deeper 
than just a personal statement of, I, I believe Jesus is Lord. This is, this is something that, that shapes the core of who we are. And so once we put faith in Christ, the Holy Spirit seals us and marks us and, and declares us to be people who belong to God. And that is a declaration of the Spirit, not a declaration of ourselves. It isn't something that's going to be undone. Our prayer this past week was a thank you prayer again to God. And we said, God, we thank you for the Spirit that you've sealed us with. Like you, you are in Christ. You are in Christ. It, it reminds me of uh, Noah on the ark, right? And Noah and his family get on the ark and the Bible says that God sealed them in. God shut the door and sealed them into the ark and judgment was happening outside those doors and, and uh, chaos was happening outside those doors. But Noah and his family were secure because God had shut the door. Look, when you put faith in Jesus, you have been sealed in Christ by the Holy Spirit and there is no undoing that. And we thank God for that. I, I have three questions for you that I want you to consider this week with those that you've gathered together with, or if you're just listening to this on your own, wherever you are, here are three questions I want you to consider. And this first one is going to sound painfully obvious, but I really want you to pause and think on it. Question one, who do you consider to be family? Uh, for some of you, that will be your actual family. That'll be your wife or your kids or your parents or whatever. But um, some people don't feel that way. Some people, their family or their friend group or whatever. So who is it that you consider family? Uh, who is it that you consider to be your core group and why? The second question is this, what does it take for you to feel like you're part of a community? What does it take for you to feel like you're part of a group? Is it, is it longevity? Is it time? Um, it usually takes me uh, a year to, to really be comfortable around somebody and sometimes closer to two or three years, it takes me a while to, to feel completely comfortable with people. Uh, what does it take for you to feel like you belong to a community or a certain group? And, and then question three is this, why do so many people believe that you can lose your salvation? Why is that something that rolls around in so many Christian circles? And then, and what does it mean to you that your salvation is secured by the Holy Spirit? So why, why is it, do you think, that a lot of people think, oh, we can lose our salvation? I suspect, I don't want to give you all the answers, but I suspect part of it is people think that salvation is their own work and therefore their work can be undone. But, but why do you think that people... Oh, I have this idea of loss of salvation. And really, what does it mean to us that we are actually secure in Christ because of the Holy Spirit and not because of our own work? So think about those questions. That was actually like five questions or six questions disguised as three, but uh, take your time to think through those. And we look forward to seeing you this next Sunday for our fourth, and, uh, our fourth sermon on the Holy Spirit and the close of this series. Thanks for watching and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.